Broadway quality live entertainment is right in your backyard. Take a look as we shine the spotlight on another production playing on Long Island. We are doing Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's a little different from the fairy tale. The same story plot happens where the queen wants to off Snow White and the huntsman takes her into the forest, tries to kill her, but instead lets her go off and she meets the seven dwarfs. But the dwarfs all have different names. The prince has a different name. Um, there are different songs in it. I love doing the song, You've Got This Apple. It's the hardest part of the show for me because Suzanne is hilarious and watching the faces she makes, it's me the entire time going, Brittany, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. And it's just a lot of fun. That's my favorite part of the show. You were my knight. You were my lady. You put up the noblest of I've always wanted to be a prince, so this is my first opportunity to sort of step into those boots and, uh, and take on that role. And it's been a, such a pleasure here at the theater. I really love it. My favorite moment is I Like Your Style. It's a song between Snow White and the Prince. It's a wonderful moment where the two of them um, get to, you know, really show the audience how much they love each other. And also you get a little bit of history between the two of them too. You know that they used to play in the forest and that they used to run and hide from dragons and stuff. So they've gone through adventures before. Like adventure really isn't that new to them. So it would be Sprightly, and I'm Ticklish, Slowpoke, Snore, Gabby, um, Sarge, and Gloomy Gus. Everyone that's playing a dwarf, they really fit their character. Within no time, I was like, yeah, you know, that is Snore. I love when Snow White gives us all kisses when we're leaving for work. So as soon as I get my kiss, I run to the back of the line, and I try to get another one, but she always catches me. Oh, queen. Thou art fairest of all I see. Continue. But over the hill where the seven dwarves dwell, Snow White is still alive and well. What? Snow White is always beautiful in her own way. She always has a certain beauty, but when she meets the prince, well, she re-meets the prince, and they fall in love with each other, that love she has with him brings out some inner beauty some inner radiance, if you want to say, in her, and that makes her more beautiful than the evil queen, because the evil queen doesn't, is only in love with herself. Your soul is selfish and mean. You care of no one but yourself. I can see your future clearly. One day will be like another. You will live out your time in loneliness and regret. He does this every single day. The queen every day comes up to the mirror and says, am I the most beautiful in the land? And every day it's the same thing. And then when someone else comes along, like Snow White, he kind of takes a little joy in it that she, the evil queen, is no longer the fairest in the land, and he can kind of call her out on that. I will find Snow White. Yeah. I do. She's finished. I will destroy her. I play the queen, and I play Esmeralda, who is uh, the queen in disguise, and then I play the crone, who is also the queen in disguise. And it's not often where you get to be so many characters. <gasps> There's, unfortunately, I think a lot of all of us ladies in the Queen. She definitely comes from deep inside me, you know. Must make haste. A poison lock will let you So shiny you can see your face. How oh. it taste. Not a bite was going to waste. I really like children's theater. I think I, I kind of know how big you need to be. You can't be that big in a regular show, really. So um, it's got to have a little oomph. Yeah. I hope I'm oomphy. Farewell forever!